I'm Alicia. I'm with My Commonwealth, and we're here today with Tara Van Bylen, who competes in the Commonwealth Games for the breaststroke. Thanks so much for being with us here Thanks today. Thanks for having me. So uh, tell us, what is it like to be a swimmer? Oh, well, the training is pretty, um, pretty strenuous. Um, we practice four mornings a week and five afternoons, so it's nine practices total in the water. And then on top of that, we have um, five dry land, so weights um, or running or spinning or um, med balls. So we do all that in a seven day span. So it's, it's close to 30 plus hours a week. So it's a lot of work. And then on top of that, I'm in school. So it's kind of crazy during the school year, but um, I've been doing it for 10 years now and enjoy every minute of it. Okay, so as you know, we've had young people write in questions for you. So we're gonna ask you some of those questions. So one of the questions they asked is, what is it like in your day-to-day -day life in school? Do your friends treat you differently? Are you a celebrity? Do you, know, you have people stopping you at the, you know, in the locker room at the at the swimming pool? What's that like? Um, well, I usually hang around my swim team just because those are the people that really know my schedule and they do it with me every day. And so sometimes I find it difficult to actually. Um, hang out with people that aren't in my sport because the schedules are just so different and I go to bed early and wake up early and that's what that's not what university students usually do right. so yeah. um, that can be a little bit difficult um, but once I had like this celebrity moment and I was so shocked I was in Booster Juice on the campus at UBC and the girl the cashier said I looked familiar and I was like oh I've never met you before and then she said that she recognized me on TV, and I, uh, it was like, it was a happy day for me. Well, you did have a famous moment there at the Olympics with the uh, Jamaican swimmer. You guys tied, and you had to have a swim off. Mm -hmm. So what what was that like? I heard that Twitter kind of exploded oh. a bit. <laughs> so going into the Olympics, I had like 300 followers on Twitter, and within five hours after my swim off, I, I gained like 1,200. And that was wow. another amazing moment. <laughs> so, uh, so coming from a sports kind of family, you probably got a lot of support mm -hmm. for, you, for what you wanted to pursue. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have any advice for young people who are going after kind of a big goal as as well and yeah. how do they how do they get the 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 drive the encouragement mm -hmm. to, to keep going um well i've been doing swimming for so long and i've been in the competitive sport for a while now and throughout the years you notice so many ups and so many downs and so many failures and successes and every Bit, whether it's um, a good or a bad experience, um, leads to some sort of learning. And so um, I would just tell everyone out there that um, even if you're struggling or even if you're succeeding, there are things that you can learn from the experience that will build your character um, later on. And even for myself, I haven't had a very good past two years. Um, but there are little bits and pieces that I look back and um, I'm thankful for that for sticking to the sport and um, pursuing what I love to do even though I haven't done as well as I've wanted um, I definitely feel like I've become a better person from it and in the end that's really all is what matters the medals the trophies the awards none of that really matters it's more of the experience and what you've yeah. learned the people you've met and um, that's what's really important for me uh, back to some questions from from our uh, our young people they want to know uh, in your competitions you travel to so many countries do you ever get to enjoy the city or is it just I'm in Russia, I'm swimming, I'm training, or do you mm -hmm. really get to go out and enjoy it? Um, well, I try to make sure of, of that every time I go to a country. Um, I need to 
get out of the hotel and do something. So whether it's walking around a town or actually taking one day off and going and seeing things, um, I make sure that that is a priority because I don't want to go all the way to Russia, say, like I was last summer, and just stay in the Athlete Village and not do anything or see anything. So um, one of the days I went out and saw all the Russian temples and got to see a little bit of the older um, Russian city, which is really, really cool. So I think that it's important to not just be in the country just doing the sport, but also explore and learn about the culture and the language and just meet people. And I think that's really important. So what is your Commonwealth connection? Uh, well, I, say, I would say my Commonwealth connection is um, going to the Olympics in London, because um, London is, or Great Britain is a Commonwealth country, and that was, has been one of the highlights of my life. Um, it was my third time visiting or competing in London, um, so I've been there quite, quite a few times. I love the city and love the people, I love the accents, love, love everything about the the country, um, and I just I just had a great experience there, and it's something that I'll remember for a long time. And um, I've, I'm very fortunate and blessed to have been a part of that and been able to experience such a such a great memory in my life. And um, yeah, so that would be my Commonwealth connection. Great. And any last words for our young people who are going to be cheering you on, watching TV, tweeting at you while you're over in Scotland. Um, well, thank you for all the support, and um, I look forward to competing and doing my best for Canada and seeing what I can do. Yeah. <laughs>